Hey everybody, this is Geneva of Geneva's Closet Talk Show. First, I would like to say hey to all of my subscribers, closet seekers, ladies in blue, and people that will sit there and never, not a once, ever say anything. But it's quite all right, people. You really don't have to say anything if you don't want to. But could you please like and share this video and subscribe to Geneva's Closet if you haven't already done so right here on YouTube. And you can follow me on Facebook at what? At Geneva's Closet. And you can email me at Geneva's Closet 22 at gmail.com. Now, let's get into the news. And this is coming from me seeing this article the other day and me feeling some sort of type of way because as a kid, I remember watching, um, reading Ebony and Jet magazine. So when I seen this, I said, no, me, I know. No, this is not happening. And it came to this point. And the article said that uh, it was about time that Ebony and Jet, it may be the end of their era. And this is coming from NPR. It says, Ebony Magazine was more than a publication to black America. It was a public trust. It held a place of prominence in millions of African-American households who members did not otherwise see themselves in the mainstream media. So back in 2015, when Johnson Publishing Company announced it was spinning off its flagship magazine, Ebony, and also its news magazine, Sibling Jet, people knew something was up. They were just waiting for the shoe to drop. And then JPC announced it was filing for Chapter 7 bankruptcy and the company was selling some of the remainder of its assets. But Ebony and Jet's target audience changed from color to Negro to black to African American. People thumbed through his glossy pages for stories of black success and achievement. Founder John H. Johnson used to say his magazines gave readers the feeling that there were black people in other cities and in other countries like themselves who were doing well. It inspired them to do better. So there were doctors and lawyers, entertainers and sportsmen, pastors and politicians, including ones from black countries. But things change. And what happened? Well, people's reading habits changed. And by the time the internet became a thing, it was only a matter of time before online ads began to siphon dollars away from once magazines had been commanding. Subscriptions of Johnson's publication started to dwindle. Eventually, Jet, the magazine that shocked America with the gruesome lynching of Emmett Till, went digital in 2014 to cut costs. John H. Johnson died in 2005, and by prearrangement, the reins passed to his daughter, Linda Johnson, writes, although she was literally raised by John and wife Eunice in the JPC offices and was familiar with the magazine's business and editorial practices, Rice was unprepared. Wait a minute, let's stop right there. How would you like to watch the rest of this video and find out what exactly happened to Ebony and Jet magazine? It really is a sad thing because it's a part of our history and our black history. All you have to do is go and follow Geneva's Closet on Patreon and become a member. I have different tiers. My cheapest one is $5 and I will be uploading videos specifically for my Patreon members. So whatever you see half of somewhat else patreon my members my closet seekers are getting the full content so make sure you go and do that and please like and share this video and subscribe to geneva's closet if you haven't already done so right here on youtube and you can follow me on facebook at what at geneva's closet and you can follow me on patreon at what at geneva's closet and you can email me at geneva's closet 22 at gmail.com you all have a fabulous day and i will talk to you later bye <laughs>